my crafty friends how's everyone doing today welcome to my channel I'm so glad you're here I have another little flip through of a junky junk journal uh, for you look at this little cutie pie so these are if you didn't see any of the other videos <laughs> uh, these are little blank journals that I've been working on uh, just uh, using up some book covers I had in my closet and so I'm making them into little junk journaling junky junk journals using scraps my paper for my you know junk mail and things like that so uh, yeah let's do a little flip through here so this is a book page from a children's book uh, by the way there's no printables or anything like that in, in, in any of my journals so uh, let's see so this is a little like farm scene with this little duck here and uh, on either side of the inside and the outside of the cover I have it uh, backed with besides the cover over the cover I have this yellow and white gingham you can see this pretty yellow kind of calico on the spine and then the back cover on this one a little sunflower tie closure since we have little sunflowers here and I added a little sunflower sticker here and so cute so let's untie it and do a little flip through uh, there is sewing all the way around this and these the little ribbons here these this, this is a nice uh, grow grain sunflower ribbon that is also sewn on right here uh, with some uh, zigzag zigzag stitching and again this is paper from my junk journal junky junk journal basket so that's what these these are the papers are in here so they're ready for you to glue on and do whatever you want with them so this is paper from my home decorating magazine or book. Uh, this is paper from uh, that was wrapped around a ream of paper. I've got a journaling card in this pocket here. Uh, this is Tyvek paper or Tyvek paper from an envelope. A um, menu. This is also from a paper that was wrapped around a ream of paper. This is packing paper. <coughs> This is a junk mail envelope here, and it's uh, kind of a bigger one. I just put it in like this, and it opens over here. I think this was actually part of the envelope. It's not the whole envelope. But since it was so tall, I thought I would leave it open here instead of gluing it into a pocket. So it can be a pocket. You can leave it open. You can put glue here. Or you could even cut this little fold off the bottom and have these make this into two pages. So I left that like that. So you would have options. Um, this is another paper that was wrapped around a ream of paper. Packing paper. Again, paper from a ream of paper. A Tyvek envelope. That one is a flip out. And in the middle of the signature, I have a little calendar page here with a butterfly on it. And so there's about 40 surfaces or 20 pages in here. So really a lot of pages for a little journal like this. And these are, again, very inexpensive in my shop if you would like to pick one up. Pick one or two up, <laughs> or three. I don't know how many will be left in there when this video is uh, goes up. This is a little journaling card from the McDonald's Happy Meal, Happy Meal box. I always, wanna, I always say Happy Meal, but it's Happy Meal. A little smiley from the McDonald's uh, Happy Meal box. And there we go. So she's ready to go. When you see this video, this one will be in my shop. So cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I have been enjoying these and uh, had these covers in my closet if you didn't hear the other videos. And I decided to, I'm trying to, last year I used several of those covers and this year I'm trying again to kind of, I don't know if there's any way I can use them all, but we're going we're gonna to try. We're going to give it a try. See if I can get all those made into journals that I showed you at the beginning of the year. So that's the little journal. And so, I, yeah, I kind of put my junky paper in there. That way it's like a blank surface. You really can't mess it up if you wanted to get this for somebody that uh, you want to show them what a junky junk journal is or a junk journal is, like a real junk journal. And then I like, I really like making the covers really cute and pretty. So that's just, that's just me. So, um, and I am recycling these papers that I, you know, these little cellophane envelopes and some of them have, I still have little packaging in there. So I've left that in there. So it's, you know, this, 
it makes it nice and sturdy too for shipping and everything but in here is going to be this pretty napkin you know some little goodies for you to um, play around with when you get the journal i'm sure you have lots of your own goodies to put in in it to also uh, a couple of little pieces that could be writing spots you can glue these down and use them for writing or even glue like a little picture on here whatever you want to do uh, a bunch of little pieces here so this right here is a faux postcard great for a little uh, writing spot or collaging and some birds these birds are from a, an ephemera book that I got and uh, cut these all out in fact I got it on Amazon and I believe I have it listed down on my Amazon affiliates list if you'd like to take a peek at that uh, that does help me you know a little bit and there's a little collage piece. Uh, let's see, there's some more pieces here. Just little papery bits that to have fun with. Um, this one is like a collage piece. And this one, it looks like it's from a garden magazine. Like It looks like an old black and white garden magazine page. So cute, right? And then there's a couple pieces of fabric in here. I've got a white piece of muslin. These are great for making tabs or um, you can make clusters, whatever you want, a couple little pieces of the calico, and then a couple of buttons here from my button jar. I just kind of pull them out randomly to go along with the little goodies here. And these are also from the McDonald's Happy Ma uh, Meal boxes. This is a window that was on there, and I just punched a few pieces out with my circle punch, so that's a window. And this is a window with a little girl. Uh, sitting in front of it or standing in front of it so very cute little pieces that you can use and that is it on this one so I'll have um, two more for you soon stay tuned for those and I hope you have a great day I'll see you soon